One, two, make a circle. Three, four, a big, big, big circle. How are you, grade twos? Are you okay? I am excited. And you? We are too. Thank you. Now, it's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimo Learning Simplified. Still on fractions. Now, today we want to make cutouts of circles. Teacher, but we made circle. We made cutouts of circles. And what did you make out of them? We used them to make the halves. Maybe this is something else we're going to do. I've just been told I help these learners to make cutouts of circles. So, do ev does everyone have the pair of scissors? Every group? I need four pieces on every table. So you're going to make four pieces of circle. So we take our circular object. Mm -hmm. Slowly we continue. What are we supposed to do? We trace around first. Have you done so? Once you've traced around, what are you supposed to do next? We take a pair of scissors nicely. Teacher, are you folding four so that I cut once? But for you, it's not easy. You cut one one so that you don't mess around so cut around nicely so that you don't mess around make sure you're coming out with how many pieces four pieces very nice are you seeing the way i'm cutting that is how the circular thing is wow that is how you're supposed to do your cutting of the circular cutouts. Very good. Have you done the cutting? How many pieces do you have? One. Make sure everybody participates in the cutting. Don't leave it for one person. I want to see. When you hold the pair of scissors, it helps you concentrate. It helps your concentration because if you miss something else, you're gonna maybe cut badly. So when you cut it yourself, it helps you concentrate. And again, the pair of scissors builds your muscles. Are you seeing the way my fingers are moving? For you to coordinate the fingers and the eyes and the hands and everything, you need to be very, very attentive. Very attentive. So my circular cutouts are there four of them so i've just been told help these learners to do how many four circular cutouts and they should be in circular form and i have one here are you seeing the first one then i have here the second one then i have here the third one and here i have the fourth one so i have my four equal circular cutouts so what shape have i formed it is circle because i used a circular object don't expect it to be a rectangle or a square when i've used a circular object if i will have used an oval it will have formed an oval if i have used an, a rectangular shape it will have formed a rectangle but i have used a circular shape and place them on the table so that they await for the next lesson and see what are we going to use to make these cutouts are we gonna play can you play with them yes but we have not been told what we're going to do with them we have just been told help these learners to do what make the cutouts and they have done so any problem who still has a problem in cutting practice more continue practice cutting around things so that you're able to see are you able to cut around something very neatly without making the the dents and making the rough edges Okay, continue practicing even at home, continue cutting pieces of papers. It helps you when you have to concentrate. Okay, up to there. Any question, teacher? Anything? No, I've just said do the cutouts, and we have done. So, what you're going to do is when you go home, I want to, you to do more and more cuttings. Okay, don't just stop at that, continue doing the more cuttings so that we find out what are we going to use for these cutouts. And after we are done, we'll also go and do them at home with your parents. Thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next lesson.